you're going to get your shots every game no matter what. You're going to at least get four open shots. You have to. So the game really determines on, it doesn't really matter what the defense do because they're going to help and I'm going to have an open shot. A lot of times off of rebounds, you kick. Who's always trailing? The four men. What's the one of the most dangerous positions coming down on the fast break? The four men trailing into position. Trailing into position. Waiting. Why? Because somebody's collapsing the defense. I got my wings over here. The big man rolling, taking everybody guard. Somebody's just going downhill. And guess who just come running down, trailing right there into that spot to catch and cash out. The four-man position. That's why it is so lethal to have to play that position and to be really good and execute. That position changes. That that position changes organizations. You have a good four stretch man. He can change the entire organization. Why? Because he can win you a championship. Why? Because he's the ultimate X factor. He could be your best player on the court by only taking five shots. You knock down four out of five threes, you just change the whole dynamic of a game because you didn't even have to take a lot of shots to do that. But the fact of the matter is you're going to get these shots in the game so much. All you got to do is, uh, you hit two. Everything now is just a pump fake because you have already proven that you can knock that shot down with a consistent basis. Not saying you're going to hit every single shot. That's, That's not basketball. But if you could hit... 50%, 50%, you have, you get four open threes. You knock down two, you're an elite player. <laughs> you're an elite player. Why? Because you're in position to change the game. Every single time, close game, they got big rolling, that guard crashing to the glass, they going to leave that four position wide open every single time for that pick. That pop, that four position, that stretch four position is so dynamic. I believe it is the most crucial spot on the basketball court, bar none. I don't care what nobody say. This is just my perspective from what I've seen and watched the game. That stretch four position, because a lot of times, like for for instance, for me, I'm 6'7", 200 on a good day. <laughs> So, I'm pretty agile and quick and can put the ball on the floor. That's where the three-man skills come in. So, after I've hit two two threes, all you got to do is hit two. Boom, boom. It's just one dribble. One dribble, you're blowing by that big step up, you got the guard. One dribble, you blow by, they collapse the defense against, you got the kick out. One dribble, they don't step up, you got a nice little mid-range jump shot. Off of one dribble, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to affect the game at that position because it is such a dynamic position that's going to be so open majority of the time of the game. So it's really about oh, the, the game is won when you win it in your mind as a player in that position because you have to understand that I'm going to get my shots. So the only thing that matters is if I hit my shots. really don't have to worry about the defense too much because it's all about me locking in and just finding out the rhythm of how I'm going to get my shots off and make my shots. All I got to do is worry about making my shots because nothing else really matters. I'm going to get enough shots to change the game. I just have to be consistent enough to knock those shots down. That's where your preparation comes in. Understand, I have a big responsibility. Now, being that type of player, you have a big responsibility to maximize that position because you will be in a great spot to advance your career, to advance your team, to help your team to win championships because you locked in at that position. Some things that help me truly, truly prepare, understanding this, truly, truly prepare, I understand the game at that position is so mental for me that all I got to do is stay locked in. Like the lethal shooter guy, stay locked in, stay locked in, stay locked in. I'm meditating every single day, made shots from these positions, from just made shots. That's one of the that's one of the secret tips that I've used from reading books and studying and just understanding what you focus on grows. So if you understand that if I could take some time every single day and visualize and meditate on knocking down open shots, knocking down open shots, because when you're visualizing these things, you're opening your mind. You're in an open gym by yourself and you're just getting up shots and getting up reps. You get your mind so focused on this aspect and you start training in this way that 
once you get an open shot, your mind is automatically going to revert back to what you've been working on so much mentally that that's all it sees. So that's why when you get these open shots, you're more capable of knocking them down because you've taken the time to really mentally practice and mentally focus yourself on the open areas that you are going to receive. You understand the responsibility that you have to knock down open shots and how you're going to affect and change the game. So you take the extra time to go into meditation and visualize, these are my spots, these are where I'm going to get open, these are the scenarios that I'm going to be in, so I know I'm going to get my shot here. I know I'm going to get about, depending on the team that you're on, high level Argentina for example, you're going to get about six to seven shots good day you might get eight shots so you do the math if i get eight shots all i gotta do is knock down four i might get eight threes a game all open threes i knock that knock that down that's 50 percent. that is an elite shooter that is what you call elite status just break it down to the math. i'm gonna get two shots here off the big man rolling in this set hey guys thanks for tuning into the show please subscribe on our youtube spotify apple and wherever you listen to your podcast I greatly appreciate it.